Monster Chad Weber with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. I'm here with the Flagler Sport Fishing Club talking about general guidelines to fishing in Flagler County. The Florida Fish and Wildlife are state law enforcement officers, but they're also deputized as federal agents to enforce violations offshore of the state of Florida. So in the state of Florida, at age 16, you're required to get a saltwater fishing license or freshwater fishing license. Saltwater is determined if you're fishing on a boat. There's a license requirement. There's also a free shoreline license that can be uh, mailed to you through our website. You can get that online. Uh, you can pick up your freshwater saltwater fishing license anywhere that licenses are sold uh, for FWC or on a website at myfwc.com. Uh, at age 65, you're not required to have a freshwater saltwater fishing license in the state of Florida. There are certain circumstances where you would have to purchase a permit and all that information can be found on our website at myfwc.com. One of the questions I get the most is uh, what are the size and bag limits on specific types of fish. If you download the app Fish Rules that has the information that's most updated, it's pushed out or you can also sign up at myfwc.com to receive push messages when there's closures on specifically specific targeted fish that you're looking for. The reason you want to keep up with these rules is because there's different fines assessed through different counties in the state of Florida. Uh, it is also the angler's responsibility to know what their targeted species and the bag limit and size limit of the fish that they are keeping. Florida Fish and Wildlife works throughout the, this whole state of Florida and conservation is key to maintain healthy populations of fish for the longevity of our waterways. So in the state of Florida, there's several requirements for operation of a vessel. Safety equipment is going to be one of them. Our officers are on the waterways checking for the appropriate number of life jackets per people on a boat. Uh, any vessel over 16 feet in length is required to have a type 4 throwable device. Any vessel that has compartments that can entrap fuel vapor is required to have a fire extinguisher. And any vessel on the waterways is required to have a sound producing device, a horn bell or a whistle to signal other boaters when you're trying to overtake or pass or coming around blind corners. While operating a vessel, you're responsible for your own wake and you need to follow all posted guidelines as far as minimum wake areas, idle speed areas. If you see any of these common occurrences or law violations, you can always call 1-888-404-3922 to report law violations or people polluting the water, keeping over the bag limit, um, vessel violations as far as operating in manatee areas or slow speed minimum wake areas on plane. Again, that number is 1-888-404-3922. Florida Fish and Wildlife works with your club to assist in kids fishing clinics every year. The FWC really encouraged people to get children in the outdoors and enjoy our native wildlife and our scenery in the state of Florida. I want to say thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure to make this video with Flagler Sport Fishing Club. If you ever have any questions, you can always reach out to the Ocala office at 352-732-1225.